Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a video of Tesla's new uh, summon feature that they added in version 7.1 of the software. Uh, it's the, it gives you the ability to automatically summon your car to you. If you park in a garage, it'll open up the garage door for you, back out or pull out, uh, depending on your setup. And uh, and uh, yeah, it's a really nifty feature. Um, if it's if you live in a or if you park your car in a narrow area, um, maybe you can't even get into your car in a narrow area in a narrow area. Uh, this is a great feature to uh, give you that ability to, to handle that. Um, so to activate it, it's really simple. You can either do it from your phone or you can do it from the key fob. All you got to do is hold down the ceiling of the car. And then you'll see it start to flash. And once you see that yellow flashing going on there, you just have to hit the back button to back out or the front, uh, front button to uh, pull forward. So I'll hit the back button and we'll see, see what happens. And it's uh, it's got to go down a little bit of a hump here, so you'll see it stop when it gets to the bottom of the hump. Uh, after both tires go down, it actually, um, and I think it'll probably pull back about 20, 30 feet, um, and it'll even close the garage door for you too. Uh, my garage door is kind of a piece of junk, so it, it may not uh, actually get the signal from that far away, but uh, we'll see. And I'll just show you the parking brakes go on, and like I said, the garage door won't close, so what's new? Uh, that's a problem with the how old it is, it's probably 15 years old now. Um, now I want to show you something with the auto summon uh, forward feature. So I noticed that for some reason it can't actually pull up the hump, it, it just kind of goes up and stops. So I'm curious, I did this before and that's what happened, so I'm curious to see if it happens again. So we will hold down the ceiling. And now the yellow lights are flashing so you know it's ready. So I'm going to hit the frunk and it should try and pull forward. So let's hope it doesn't uh, crash into something. Oh wow, it's actually doing it before it just stopped. parking brake and uh, that's it. So we made it in just fine. That's pretty uh, pretty nifty. It actually, I didn't think it was going to make it up just like uh, the first time it didn't. Uh, but yeah, um, it didn't close the garage door which is kind of weird. Um, I may have to tinker around with that. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it seems to do too pretty well. You got about 18 inches up front and oh. That's cutting it close. I think the garage door might actually touch it if I were to close the garage door. Maybe just maybe give it a little kiss, but uh, otherwise, I think it handled it just fine. So, hope you guys like it. Um, and yeah, leave me any sort of feedback or comments in the comment section. See ya. So I figured I'd also have it pull out of the garage forward um, just to see if that was any different. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. So hold up, holding down the ceiling. And I can see the yellow lights blinking, so I'm just gonna hit the front. Disengages the parking brake, pulls forward. Now it opens the garage door automatically. And notice the windshield, uh, or sorry, the, um, the side view mirrors are actually folded in because it does have the ability, there's a, like a narrow garage door mode or narrow garage mode that it has, or a little button for it. Um, so it keeps those folded in just so it doesn't get dinged up, which is a great idea. Um, 
and that seat for handling just fine, uh, pulling out or, or backing in. And I notice that there's no setting for how far forward, like you, you you can have it go. I thought that there was a there's a setting to say how far away you want to be from stuff, but there's nothing to say like I don't want to back out any further than 10 feet or 20 feet or something like that. I wish there would be some sort of option like that because it kind of pulls really far far forward and it's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, otherwise it seems to work as expected. So let's. Try it again, I want to see if we can back in. Alright, it's engaged, I'm going to hit back. seeing the steering wheel move on its own inside. Come on, you can do it. No, nope. it gave up. It engaged the parking brake and just gave up. So yeah, maybe a little bit of an issue if you've got a hump in your uh, garage or it's got to go up a slight incline or down a slight decline, but otherwise uh, it seems to work well. So backing out's not a problem or pulling out's going, going down the decline's not a problem. It's going up, that's the issue, I think. But uh, I'm sure that they can remedy that pretty easily. Um, so I guess this time I'll say I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me any feedback or comments or hit the like button. Um, and I'll see you next time.